Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the difference between make and new functions in Go in the context of slices. For this, we need to understand how slices, maps and channels are built. All of these are built on top of underlying data structures. We'll look at slices in this video. I'll cover maps and channels in later videos. Slices are built on top of arrays with additional data. All we need to know about arrays is that in Go, an array is a static data structure with a defined type and size. And for a slice, a simplified structure looks like this, where data is a pointer to the underlying array, len is the length of the slice, while capacity is the maximum allowable length of the slice or the length of the underlying array. The array that the data pointer points to must be initialized and allocated memory in order for us to start working with it. This is where the new and make are different when dealing with slices. If you see the definition in the docs, new only allocates memory. It does not initialize it. It only zeros it and returns the pointer to the allocated memory. That is new of type T allocates zero storage for a new item of type T and returns its address. While make creates slices, maps and channels only and it returns an initialized not zeroed value of type T. Now, to understand these two definitions, we need to understand what does it mean to zero a memory in case of new and to return an initialized value in case of make. What is zeroing? Zeroing refers to the process of setting the newly allocated space or memory for a type to its zero value. The zero value is determined by the type T in question. What are the zero values of various types? For numeric types, example int float32 float64, the zero value is zero. For strings, the zero value is an empty string. For booleans, the zero value is false. For pointers, the zero value is nil. For slices, maps and channels, the zero value is nil, meaning there is no allocated underlying structure. For structs, each field in the struct is set to its respective zero value. Example numbers become zero, strings become empty string and so on. Now when we compare the zero values of data types here and the simplified structure of a slice we saw earlier, we can make out that since data is a pointer, its zero value would be nil when we define a slice using new. And what is an initialized value in case of a make? While new initializes the structure of a type passed to it, make for slices, maps and channels also initializes the underlying data structure which in case of slice is an array. For instance, if we make a slice using make where we define the length to be 5 and capacity to be 10, make will first create an array of ints whose length is 10 and then create a slice structure with length 5 and capacity 10 pointing at the first 5 elements of the array. In contrast, new returns a pointer to a newly allocated zero slice structure that is a pointer to a nil slice value. We can demonstrate this by using this code. Here we are making two slices, one with make and one with new. We can see in the output that the one made with make function is not nil while the one made with the new is nil. In these lines, we even try to output the types of these slices using percent hashtag %v. And we can see that the one made with make prints this and the one made with new prints this. Notice the nil here. But what does this output of a slice with nil signify? It says that the slice is of type integer collection, but the underlying array it points to is not yet initialized or it is nil. So the slice currently points to nil. Like when we define a var x int, we are declaring a variable x of type int whose default value is zero. When we have a slice of this type, we are just saying that the slice is of a certain type but has no memory allocated. It is nil. But do the slices made with make and new actually differ? Let's try to simply print them out. Here we made the make slice using make and the new slice using new. Since the new keyword returns a pointer, we dereference these pointers before using them in case of a new slice. And when we run this code, we can see that both of them work in the same manner and print out an empty collection. So do they actually differ? 
well their observable behavior is same mostly let's look at them closely this is a nil slice this is an empty slice which is not nil a nil slice means that the underlying array that the slice points to is not yet initialized but both of them work essentially in the same manner in that they both work with the len and cap function and return zero they both work with all the built in functions for slices in go like append copy etc you can slice them by following their bounds for range can also be used over them with zero iterations one can only tell the difference by comparing the slice value to the pre declared identifier nil as we saw earlier they behave the same in every other aspect but note that many packages actually compare a slice with nil and may act differently based on the result example this json package so both make slice a nil slice return an empty array because the observable behavior of an empty slice and a nil slice is the same so why even use make when we can use new for a slice and it works perfectly well the short answer is to optimize your program what do i mean by that well when we use a nil slice to start with each time we append an element to the slice go basically allocates ample memory in the background to handle the request This takes time and memory and can be avoided by using make with capacity when we for sure know what the final capacity of a slice is going to be. This can be demonstrated using the following program. In the output of this program, you can see that for a slice that started with nil, go automatically allocates memory when we run out of it. Under the hood, an entire array is created with length which is double the current length. and naturally all the elements must be copied this can lead to a performance overhead while in the case where we define a slice using make and capacity the capacity never changes hence all the program needs to do is a basic append at the end of the array and nothing more we can also have a slice of a particular length which is less than its capacity using the make function and also the make function returns the value while the new keyword returns a pointer So what should you and I use for a slice? Well it depends on the use case but since we have more flexibility along with control over a slice when we are using the make function and on top of that it optimizes our code too I think we should go with the make function Use the following syntax Thanks for watching